This is Sam. I have decided to make an early decision. Type video on why I chose Dartmouth. I got this idea from a Dartmouth vlogger named Joelle. She's really positive and I've met her online but not in person and she's the same person she is conversing with me as she is in her videos. I'm going to put her vlog in the dialog box below. Check her out. Now, I got my master's degree from Dartmouth in 2001, before YouTube existed. As in her video, I wanted to help people make a decision about whether to come to Dartmouth College. I only applied to two colleges in my entire life. One was already decision and I got into both of my choices. Dartmouth was my grad school choice. I'm not a legacy. Not a legacy means that your parents, your uncle, your older brother went to Dartmouth, so your legacy. I'm a townie. I was born in Hanover. My brother also decided to come to Dartmouth after I was already there. Two interesting facts about me. I'm half Asian, Korean, and Japanese. My mom's from Maui, and my dad is from New Hampshire. He's white. Second thing is I have cerebral palsy. I have a walking disability and a speech impediment that you're listening to. I self caption in nine languages. I'm going to list them above. The reason why I caption myself in nine languages is so that I can have the biggest impact that I possibly can. Basically, when I came to Dartmouth 20 years ago, I, I was the only one I ever saw with a physical disability. Now, that doesn't mean that I was the first person with a physical disability at Dartmouth. That means that I never saw anyone else with a physical disability here. When I visit campus now, I see other people who have physical disabilities and it makes me happy. Some of them may have cerebral palsy, but it's not something you really walk up and ask people about. You know, if you get to know them, they'll probably know you. And, you know, it really doesn't matter. As long as you really get to know people with disabilities, just like people who are non-disabled. Why Dartmouth? Because a lot of people in my neighborhood went to Dartmouth in, in the 80s and the 60s the 50s. And I've wanted to go since I was a kid. And I'm a liberal arts guy. I excel at writing and film history, social science, and I just really believe in the liberal arts kind of education because it just gives you a nice overview of everything and it makes you more interesting person. Dartmouth is a really tight-knit community of people who are all very supportive. When I went to undergrad, we just went to the Four Winds every weekend, and the only real community seemed to be frat culture. I'm not a frat guy. I'm more of an independent guy. Um, this isn't an art frat people, because to each of their own. 
that Dartmouth, you have to get used to the idea that everyone is more privileged than you. But that transcends and having more gratifying experience is because people have more diverse experiences than in a state school or in most state schools. For instance, Dartmouth allows you to do multiple exchanges during your college career and most people do more than one. My friends went to Argentina, Botswana, India, and England. After I left, people in my program were able to go to Oxford. And I really feel like I missed out on that one, but it was okay. Also, undergrads have interesting hobbies. Multiple undergrads have hiked the Appalachian Trail the summer before entering Dartmouth. Some students have climbed Mount Everest. I'm coughing now, so um, it's a terrible housing thing, so that's why my voice is hoarse. Dartmouth is a tradition heavy university where our tradition binds us all together. The undergrads have far more than the grad students, but in the summer, it's basically all grad students and Dartmouth sophomores. Every sophomore spends their summer on campus. They elect to take another term off during the year. Here's some tips on applying. Know yourself and speak about your passions. People want to know your motivations and how you're going to make your mark on the world. It's way more impressive than being impressive and ticking boxes like everyone else to get into college. I have cerebral palsy like I've said before. So I wanted to do something with film and disability since every film with a disabled character is exactly the same as The Miracle Worker, which came out in 1962. And the plots are all the same where a non-disabled person helps a disabled person like me become a fully formed Adults, you know, we learned how to eat and how to walk, and it just doesn't work that way. We come in knowing the same things as you know, but we have problems in execution and, and getting to the point where you're at, so it's more similar to having a disability and not having a disability than you think. Everyone will have a disability someday. Next question is, what would you have done if you didn't get in? I would have gone to my master's in education from a state college. What about the lack of diversity in Dartmouth? My answer is probably the same as Jarrell's, in that it doesn't really bother me. All my friends are based around common interests like film or technology, and I like to learn things from people who are different from me. If you wanted a taste of home, you could probably get it from Amazon. Dartmouth operates on a term system, which means 10 weeks instead of 15, so you're going to be working intensively, and then you'll be off. You have to make a commitment to experience college, because it will be over soon. Dartmouth helped me grow up in the respect of trying new things, meeting new people, 
and the possibility of extending one's reach beyond New Hampshire. I'm probably the first person with a disability that people have met. Most people with disabilities are not as accessible as I am because due to the way some states operate, people with disabilities might lead more sheltered lives in institutions instead of public schools and private universities. Yes, even people who are smarter than I am. Is there a good social life balance at Dartmouth? When I was in school, I had a good social life balance. I got to hang out with friends. I wasn't studying all the time. This experience is the same with my undergrad friends. Make no mistake, people work hard, but we have a work hard, play hard mantra. And be present in the moment, that's the key of success at Dartmouth. There's also a conscious effort to connect with the overall community at Dartmouth through doing community service at the Tucker Foundation. And I've worked with these students in the past. All of them are amazing people and they all got at least as much as they put in. Usually they got more. Do you have any regrets in Dartmouth? No, I don't have any regrets in Dartmouth. Maybe taking some classes and directing or internships, but no overall regrets. It was a nice, safe place with good, intelligent, interesting people. I knew one exchange student, he was from Munich, and we really had fun together, and I ended up learning a lot from him. You know, exchange students are highly recommended. Their lives are someone like yours and someone not. For me, one of the most important lessons in college is that it can teach you how to be an adult. And I'm not talking about drinking. I'm talking about who you let into your life and what kind of experiences are going to nourish you and sustain you through the hard times that all of us go through. How is Greek life at Dartmouth? Greek life is big in Dartmouth, but it was bigger in my undergrad college. It was the only thing going on, on campus because most people, including me, left for the weekend. At Dartmouth, there are other opportunities like films to see on campus and plays and concerts. There are things to do outdoors. Basically, they probably have a club for nearly everything. I found the France to be more friendly than the ones at my undergrad college. I found that they have events that don't always involve alcohol. I've been to events where we made sushi. There are also independent houses like Tambor, which revolves around art and film. It's like the arty frat. Oh no, it's not really a frat. It's just a house. There's a place for you if you want one at Dartmouth. If you like this video, click like, subscribe, visit my comments in the section below. And I really want to thank you for listening to me today. And watching my video. It means a lot to me. Have a good night.